to Mandy Loves Japan. We've decided to do another taste test video because let's face it, they're fun. And um, I was given these little snacks uh, by a coworker. Um, these, they kind of look like, like a long cheesel. And they come in about 20 different flavors. You can find them in the supermarkets. I, I wouldn't know how many flavors, but in general, I like these things. Yeah. They're like a corn chip thing. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like a long cheesel. Um, but yeah, you can get them in many, many flavors uh, in the supermarkets. And cheese, corn, um, a lot of different fish flavors. But that's, you know, par for the course for Japan. Mm. But my co-worker gave me these two. And he was quite excited about it because these are natto flavor. Now, for those of you who are not aware, natto is one of the very few Japanese foods that I will not eat. I have tried a number of Same. times. I cannot. It is fermented soybeans, and uh, the fermented soybean smell is incredibly strong. Uh, the taste is not great. Yeah, I don't rate it. Not great at all. Um, and they're slimy, so mm. like it's, oh, and just the texture mm. is, yeah, I don't rate it at all. But my co worker and worker gave me these, he was very, very excited to give me these, and um, was very interested to see how I responded to them. So I thought, hey, let's share this with everyone. So, first of all, we're going to go with this one. So, this one, natto snack. Natto flavor, but on the side it says karashi mayonnaise. So it's mustard mayonnaise flavor. Um, Hopefully it tastes more like mustard than natto. Yeah. Should see. we just do this? Yeah, well, I want to have a smell of it first, see if it's got oh, the yeah? natto smell. Oh, oh see. it's not as bad. Like I don't think it really smells like anything. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a hint of something, but I don't know There's a hint of that kind of natto -y smell, mm. but I don't know. Are Let's you see ready if for this? Off. Hmm. It's not. Yeah. It's not that bad. That doesn't really taste like anything. I was expecting to be thoroughly disgusted, mm. but um, we, we've had these for a little while now, and I've I've been worried about filming this video because <laughs> I don't like nothing. Though. But that was very bearable. That was totally bearable. Mm. I don't have a problem with that one at all. I do need a mouthful of water. Very dry. Yeah, I I really like them though. Like a cheesel. Mm. Very dry. You need a drink with it. Okay, um, this one, this one's interesting. Same thing, natto snack. Um, but this one is ume flavor. Ume flavor, so that's um, your Japanese plum. Mm. Um, and Japanese pickled plums are an incredibly common snack. Mm. You can get them in umeboshi, so that's your Japanese rice balls. You can get them in oh, so many different things. Ume shu is a Japanese plum wine. It's incredibly popular um, and a lot of people make it at home. Um, so yeah, ume, very popular flavor. It's sweet and salty and kind of vinegary and mm. yeah it's a really interesting flavor mm. so this this might this be should be okay we'll see we'll see come by come by i mean that had a stronger natto flavor for me i didn't taste the natto at all in that i um i could taste a hint of the plum mm. but i particularly like yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need some water. I particularly like ume. I love the pickled plum flavour. Mm. Um, so that's not offensive to me at all. Um I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by both of these. I expected to be Yeah. A lot I, more unwilling to eat. I got a bit of the natto flavour in the second one, but mm, not um, at all for me. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. M much less offensive than I assumed it would be. Mm. So, um, as we mentioned in our, one of our last taste test videos, it is actually kind of hard for us now to try things that we don't know what they mm. are because we can read the labels and very easily and even, quickly. Even I can read the labels. Yeah, and, and uh, we've tried a lot of things now. Um, mm. You know, we don't get to share them with you guys all the time because Japanese people 
do actually delight in getting us to try new things. Mm. So we are often... Uh, offered different things. Offered different mm. things with no warning and no real knowledge of what it is either. Um, we've tried some very interesting things in our time. But uh, one thing we did want to show you is this is actually not a brand new taste test, but Kit Kats. There are so many different flavors of Kit Kats in Japan. So many. And it's very, very popular. But these ones I really like. So this is called Otona no Amasa. So this is, Otona is the word for adult. Amasa is sweetness. Or um, So these are basically dark chocolate. Not as sweet as kids would like, I guess. Yeah. And um, on the side here, Saksaku. So for those of you who like onomatopoeia, Japanese people love onomatopoeia, and Saksaku basically means crunchy. Mm. These things are so good. They're so yummy. Um, and because I'm a sociopath, I eat them this way. You. That's wrong. Mm. That's wrong. Mm. If you eat your Kit Kats, you break them first, like a normal human being, uh, please comment. If you are crazy, like my husband, and eat them like that, please comment. Very interested to see, you know, which side of the fence most of you sit on. So, um, while I enjoy this the right way, mm, we will say goodbye to you and see you next time. Jane. Jane.